Typically, when dealing with non-complex property appraisals, appraisers use the term neighborhood to define an area of complementary land use. On the URAR form, appraisers are asked to provide the neighborhood boundaries, which are often natural or man-made boundaries, railroad tracks, rivers, highways, municipal limits, etc. Appraisers analyze the defined neighborhood in terms of age range, price range, land use percentages, supply and demand, growth rate, and typical marketing time. Traditional theory dictates that appraisers analyze the number of sales and current listings in the neighborhood, develop an absorption rate, and analyze the amount of inventory currently on the market. Let's take a look at an example. Our subject property is nestled in a neighborhood where there are currently 20 homes listed for sale, and where 24 homes were sold over the last year. Using this information, we can calculate absorption rate per month by dividing the past year's total number of sales in the neighborhood, in this case 24, by 12 months. Therefore, the absorption rate for this area is two homes per month. In addition, we can calculate the current inventory by dividing the active listings in the area, 20 in this case, by the absorption rate per month, which we just calculated to be two. Therefore, in our example neighborhood, there is a 10-month inventory of homes currently listed for sale. This calculation is sometimes made automatically by appraisal software when filling out the 1004MC form. However, it is the appraiser's responsibility to understand how these calculations are made. This is all well and good. However, we know that atypical properties don't always play by the rules. And in the appraisal of some complex properties, this type of neighborhood analysis can be meaningless because complex properties may not be subject to the same market forces as non-complex properties. Furthermore, the market for a complex or atypical property may not be confined to the neighborhood in which it is located. A truly complex property may have a market area which encompasses several neighborhoods, several counties, a state, or multiple states. If the URAR form is used to report an appraisal on a complex property of this type, the appraiser should append the form as necessary so that there is enough information that intended users will be able to understand the appraisal. If you are looking for more great information like this or need hours to maintain your license, go to mckissick.com appraisal and see what's new.